Hello and welcome to the Technocrats Design and Job Consultancy. I am your teacher for mechanical design. Today I will explain the modeling of water tank which we regularly use in our houses. You can work it as a tutorial as well as it will be very beneficial for its design in future. This is our new plane on which we will draw our sketch for top design. So select this plane. Go to the sketch and start the sketching the shape. 180 mm. So, first of all, draw a rectangle dimension is 180 mm, and this should be symmetry with this horizontal line. So, select these two lines, right click allow symmetry line and select this axis ok now I require we require four type of four rectangles at, at each quadrant so rotate this existing first of all select I need just these two lines ok so I am selecting these two lines only go to the rotation rotate duplicate mode is on number of extra instances is 3 ok select the origin or center of rotation this is center of rotation and select a value or angle angle is 90 degree ok now 4 parts are available 4 sets are available ok after this I will draw this arc this arc is R1500 for that first of all I will draw a line reference line 45 degree inclined from this origin ok now take a arc select the center of arc on this reference line now of this reference element what is the radius radius is 1500 ok ok now adjust the position of this arc So approximately adjust this. Okay, now trim extra elements. I am taking quick trim command. Trim all extra elements. Sorry. ok again this line we require 4 arcs at each quadrant so again select this line for security reason I am I am again applying the symmetric constraint to these two lines for all quadrants ok so constraint select these two lines right click allow symmetry line select this horizontal line do for all these sets ok now it will not move by mistake also so first select this line go to the rotate 
number of instance is 3 duplicate mode on this is the center of rotation 0 0 angle of rotation is 90 degree ok now by using this command this is project 3d element project this outer part of this water tank and this inner part of this water tank ok now carefully see what I am trimming so trim all the extra elements carefully do this this is also important part it should be done carefully again I am saying something mistake is here so undo this ok you can if you see painfully there is a gap so by filling this gap I am using this trim command select this line and this arc ok now again remove extra elements use quick trim this is extra element this is extra element this is extra element this is extra element so approximately all parts are all elements are trimmed I am providing again dimensions because there is a possibility of changing the dimension while trimming or moving one eighty one eighty okay it should be one eighty so exit workbench you can see there is some mistake it should be trimmed so again go to the sketcher double click on this sketch trim this element ok now use this trim command and do all remaining trim it will be perfect for you now exit workbench now you can see it is completed ok now use again pad command go to pad select this sketch there is a something error there may be some open element you can see there is a coincidence here you can see black points are there or extra lines are remaining here so go to again same sketch and delete these extra lines delete this and this again exit workbench pad select this sketch ok now it is ok reverse the direction and from type you can select up to next preview ok ok now it is perfect so before making hollow you can chamfer all the corners it is important because this is a plastic molding and centrifugal molding 
so I am using this chamfer command and this chamfer radius is you can see the chamfer radius is 50 or 50 so provide here R50 here is also R50 okay provide chamfer at the ribs also this is you can put this is 10 mm so you can provide 5 mm radius okay you should provide to all the ribs and all the corners so select all the corners select this also preview ok ok this chamfer is complete ok provide 5 mm chamfer to these two edges also ok and provide 10 mm chamfer to all remaining this upper top part of this tank so select all the edges first chamfer these edges this edge this edge this edge sorry these two edges these two edges these two edges and these two edges radius of 50 mm ok now provide these remaining chamfer remaining edges provide radius of 10 mm ok ok all radiuses are complete the main and important part in this water tank is to hollow the tank now in this condition it is a complete solid or filled now we have to hollow for doing so we are using this command this is a shell ok use this shell command now faces to remove which face you have to remove this face you should remove so select this face color is changed so what is the inside thickness we are using 5 mm thickness because in the drawing it is given the thickness is 5 mm so default inside thickness is 5 mm now ok now you can see our tank is hollow now hide the all unnecessary planes hide this plane hide these three planes
okay now color this I am changing this color is as blue now our tank is ready this is our your final tank okay I hope that you enjoyed and understood complete video complete tutorial and you will practice it and it is not uh, a difficult it is easy you can do easily also I will come again with new tutorial like this video subscribe our channel and share it as possible thank you